Wow. $633 later. Woo! So for the average working person, I don't think they could even bought this stuff today because if you made, let's just say, 40 grand a year, $800 tax, you may net $600, maybe. But then you're, there's your whole paycheck gone. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Beautiful up here. It really is nice. It's got a nice cool breeze right now. So it just really is a beautiful day here at Bass Pro Shops. And the kid is hungry as all get out. So she wants something to eat. She's like, can I start? She got energy. Yes, she is. Time to get the Ram CRX all started up. It makes some noise. And there's some bikers. Got some Harley guys. We got a cross rocker guy, right? What the hell is that? It's like a refrigerator. Now we gotta put this stuff in the back. Oh, uh, we'll he likes on the right, so we'll go to the left. Says the season to buy a boat. It is the season. Oh, what's going off this? Yeah, if we lived down here, would I be more on the page of getting a boat out? Whoa, what was that? It just ran over something. Yeah, a plastic bottle. So the white one. How much is that one? All this all the tags are reversed. Yeah. How much is that one? What's that one say? Eh, the kid's not gonna play along. He's like, Dad, I'm not hungry. Leave me alone. Truck's hot. Quiet in there. Well, it's just everywhere we go. You talk to me. You talk to me. You talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> 30 minute conversation. Like, that's one thing. They go on for like 40 minutes. <laughs> and it's just like, I. Hey, I got one new subscriber, right? I don't, I like it. It's just like everywhere we go, it seems to be the case. Or we end up trying to buy something, so we're there for an extra hour. Like, I just get tired of it, to be honest. Oh, the poor ice girl. Not easy hanging out with the ice man, is it? Four o'clock, we'll probably be eating till like six thirty or seven. I know. Oh, whatever. Yeah, get the early guys. And now the kid's happy. You know why? She's gonna get a happy meal. From McDonald's. How about that idea? I mean, but what's scary is I've seen these cars sitting at the drive through now forever. Is it like half a crew? Man, this light is always so long. What about, why is it that McDonald's never has the ice cream? What is that all about? kiddo here I go kiddo yeah what's it about the vanilla there's a guy literally that I think made a YouTube video about McDonald's never has vanilla ice cream cones and it's like the uh <laughs> it's okay thank you okay you too all righty see there kid we're in the Ram TRX and the dog is unlike many of the dogs we have would be begging for the food right away because I don't yeah, we can't. It'll be Sloppy Joe's. Hey, Bobby, Buddy's Barbecue's not even open. So even though earlier you were wanting that? No, I didn't. Oh, I know that. I'm just saying. All right, let's catch this light because this thing's freaking long as hell. I mean, what the heck is that all about, right? As we're in the, the Ram Turex, and oh, I'm, I'm cutting my mileage back. I'm struggling for that 15 mile per gallon. I put my drink anywhere. Oh, hold on. There you go. Another building, another business, Tennessee Hills. Window and I'm hiding. 
Yeah, I'm gonna rope everything in all reality because we're gonna be on the open highway. And look at that there. So, a brewery is my guess. Church. Oh, is it a church? I think. No way. No, it's a brewery. Look at the big containers back there. You're right. Uh oh, for all the bragging I've been doing, how do we get this thing back to 15 miles per gallon? People are like, yep, yeah, Iceman leading us astray. I hear you. Let's turn on the DAP for cruise control. And it's 75 mile an hour post speed limit, so we'll just do 75 and see how she does. A lot of bikers are out today, and it's a beautiful day to be riding the bikes this afternoon. This morning wasn't so much. Indian. Looks like a volcano up there, doesn't it? Isn't that something? You know, you just a fine line, and when you see that big mountain, it's like a volcano, but then you lose it. It's kind of a hazy day, too. Look, I don't know. I've been priest to tire pressures, and now you have to say to yourself, tomorrow when the kid follows you back, that'll be the real story if having a higher tire pressure made this thing more fuel efficient or made it worse. But the biggest thing is the tires sound better. I mean, it's a huge difference to me in how this truck sounds with the tires being inflated correctly. So, it's disappearing. Oh, well. The daughter, for the first time, really likes the adaptive cruise control. And, yeah, the guy can't hear. So, the daughter is now using this adaptive cruise control, which I just love. I just love adaptive cruise control. It just takes so much stress if you're driving off of you. Again, a lot of people, we my kid for a long time, she didn't like it. But she's driving more and more. I think she understands how to use it. If you know how to manage it, it's a great option. And this truck is so temperamental. Moving the steering wheel, this thing so is aggressive that the truck moves around so easily. I got a 90 mile an hour guy coming up on me right now. You know what I do? I just move over, let the guy go by. That's in a hurry, and then we'll get back over. But you know, for some reason, people can't do what I just did. A lot of people are like, I ain't moving over. I ain't moving over. 80 degrees out. Wow. I mean, down here in Tennessee, spring is here. What's really hard to believe is it's going to be April 1st tomorrow. There's the Holston River. Where all the boaters. That water feeds a lot of the, the boating area around here. It's the Holston Dam, I think. Yeah, hard to believe tomorrow's April. Fourth month already. And we're into the spring and summer months are on the doorstep. Here at 13.8. Can we hit 15? I don't think we will. I don't think we'll be on the road long enough for us to hit 15. What? Your hearing loss, probably. Probably. Because half the time when people say something to me, I cannot hear or understand what they're saying. Well, I said, you need to get your ears checked. Well, like today, all these people are coming up to me. About Keeper. I cannot hear what they're saying. And I feel bad, but I don't know what they're saying. Should I have your ears checked? Sometimes you're better off not knowing what they do yes. say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Especially if you're married. <laughs> Those are all these stories, right? <laughs> they're making good time. The favorite thing is, is when they move their lips. So you can't even see what they're trying to pronounce. They don't have any facial expression. So, like this guy was like telling me how his dog
out for me laughing. I know I'm going to be the same. You'd be like, oh, really? <laughs> I just told this guy my dog died. He's laughing. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, you don't think that's a challenge? I love when people walk up to me when I have, like, a dog with me, any of my dogs, and then they start talking about, like, all the ailments of how their other dog died. And, like, I, I feel bad, but, like, at the same time, it's like, why, like, what is this conversation having to do with, like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. It's just not, I don't find it pleasant. And that seems to be the main topic subject when I'm with Kiefer. Hey, there's a two-door Chevy Dually. How about Uncle Davey's truck for the two-door? We used to have that truck. We had that exact same truck somewhat. No, I guess not. No, we had the 80s. That's more 90s. I think late 80s. Ours are more squared. That was more like 84, 85, 87, 88. So the, the moral of the story is you take a dog with you. And you're people, gonna, and you're going to hear about dead dogs. If you eat all that, you're not going to be hungry. I barely ate breakfast. I'm starving. I've been listening to you yap for the past two hours. I honestly just wanted some peace. back to the house, gotta get the truck and trailer hooked up, bikes loaded up, and I'm making dinner for the family, so we got a lot going on. We've been to church, and we stayed until almost one o'clock, talking to people. Then we to Bass Pro, we, like, two minutes. And then I want to eat my ten chicken McNuggets in a medium fry, but that's an issue. Got a nice set of pants. I'm very happy. I'm just saying I was hungry. Got a Yeti cup. I'm really excited. Got a bunch of ammunition. I know, I'm excited. To fend off the nutties. I'm just saying I was hungry. That took a lot of energy out of me. Yeah, today's sermon, as you know, was about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And uh, Byron, the preacher at the church, had a picture of a hearse on the front of the, uh, behind him for the sermon. And he was talking about a story about a hearse story. Because sadly, when you die, if you decide to be buried and not burnt up, cremated, you can have a hearse. So... I told him, he sh I showed him my video happened to me yesterday on my bike, so he asked me to stand up and to share my story at church, and he said, so when, when you were, didn't actually get in that accident, and you thought about God, what did you think? I said, I'm blessed, right? There's a 392 Hemi, a funky... I don't know. He's got the diffuser. He's got the rear uh, shades. Everybody's hauling butt. I go, it's the race. I go, it's the race. Do we race him? What do you think? Huh? I'm behind the slow poke. Not really. I mean, we're going to speed limit. So that's the thing about today is you go to speed limit and you're slow poke. Well, also, like, what... Driving like mom. 
Well, to post at 65 mile hour speed limits, that's what I'm saying. People go the speed limit. You know, look at that guy there in that Mustang. Yeah. I was going to get a Cobra Mustang I back think in that's 19. So cool. Like, I guess it was like 2000 or whatever. It's 2002. Right. I was going to get a Cobra. It was a green, not that green, They're the dark so green. so cool. Yeah, that was going to be my. I just about bought one, but I didn't. I just couldn't justify it. it was, I felt like it would be. Uh, I just felt like I couldn't really use it. Really cool, dude. But then I ended up buying a Corvette. said what's the <laughs> no I'm just you're saying they're gas misers I'm sitting here watching you trying to get them 14 miles per gallon I know I gotta I'm be right I can't be wrong I'm just saying. I'll have to drive 20 yeah. miles an hour down the highway to my damn thing back to 16 miles a gallon you're a part of the group I'm be a hypocrite people are like oh you told everybody at 16 miles per gallon you can't even get 14 out of the damn thing. Look, 13.8. I'll start coasting. I'll get it. Don't worry. We'll get 14. And there's the kid sharing her her uh, her healthiness. You know, this is a 60, 65 mile hour road for the record. Oh, 13.9. Look. I think this is the longest time you've gone yet. You haven't driven this truck. Wow. She's probably having truck truck syndrome. TRX syndrome. Wow. I mean, we got the misers, man. I mean, we are down to 50 miles an hour. They're not paying attention. They're focused on... I mean, on this is, like, beyond believable. This is definitely the Sunday driver look. Oh, no. Why is that? What's that all about? Because they put water on your windshield because uh, you're tailgating them. Oh, really? Well, they're tailgating those guys in front of them. Why are you a part of their pack? Why have you It's Ah, 14 miles per gallon. I did it. I did it. Why have you doing this to yourself? Well, it says 65.55. For trucks, tractor trailers. Oh, okay. Good eyes. What is 55.65? Yeah, so this guy up here in old Twitter Avalon is the problem. See well, it? The you ancient. You could do something called but I don't know if that's The Twitter Avalon. So are they going to go? Probably make a right hand turn. Probably all be going the same place. Watch. This is classic. Nope. 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 Wow. Wow. What are they doing? I mean, good lord. <laughs> I mean, they're down to 45 miles that an hour. No offense wow. to Ooh, 14.1. No, no offense to popcorn, but 45 and we'll be going 30. But I don't think that's him trying to guess, Mize. I just think he's not paying attention. I think he's worried about losing his license. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I couldn't find the registration thing? And he's freaking out. <laughs> he's going to get pulled over. You remember that? Tears were falling. <laughs> yeah. Tears were falling. Yeah, he's worried that they're going to have him do an eye vision test on the spot when the police officer shows up. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Look at this chart. What letters are on that row there? <laughs> um, let's see. His, an explanation point? Biggest... And have, no, sir. Letters. Uh, those are number two to me. Sir. Sir. He started, Dad. I didn't start it. He's not gonna watch this video. It's two hours long. Well, it makes him go to sleep if he watches them. That's what I'm saying. He'll be sleeping. Yeah, exactly. Right. So yeah, Poppy's worried about getting pulled over, and then they're like, "Wait a second, you're in restricted driving time. Do you realize it's dark out, sir? 
Well, I can't see to see that. <laughs> Appropriately said, sir. All right, here we go. Yeah, got an old. We have an old uh, train track here, so is now somebody going to correlate it to the bridge falling? There or you the go. Boat exactly. Because we don't have anything else better to talk about. Yeah, well, they say now there's another. There was another bridge got hit. Where? Like in Oklahoma or something. Oh, well, those bridges get hit all the damn time. The debate is, is the ones that have the big ass concrete bumpers on them, you don't hear the stories. The ones that don't, if that bridge would have had the big ass concrete bumpers, you never even know it even happened. I don't know about that, Dad. I think it'd be less worse. Good old house. Look at that place. Look at that. What? I want to live there. No way. Yeah, That's a two-level house. It'd be a joke. I like the way it looks. And now, I when I first started coming down here 12 years ago, there ain't no school up there. That's where you had your first official Indian motorcycle experience. Indian 60, right? Did Indian 60. You ever stop talking? But, well, there's something on her mind. What is she doing? What is she doing? Yeah. The Iceman talks all the time. Younger generation texts all the time. I mean, in all sincerity, that's the only difference. My mouth runs. Her fingers, her fingers do the old texting routine. All right. You know, wasn't really kind of making video today, but I like to make videos. I like to share the fun. If you guys watch my channel, I hope you like the video time. Once again, wasn't planned. I thought I'd be on the road right now driving back to Virginia, which I'm glad I'm not. Because we're loving it down here. We just love being down here. It's so much fun. So. Well, for the record, we're 14.1. So how about that, huh? But. I'd love to see this thing going back tomorrow get 16. That would be impressive. Can it be done with the kid driving? Right now, you'd probably say, well, she's probably drafting off the back of your trailer. Ah, oh, wait a second. Never thought of that. This is classic. Look at this here. See this road here? Now, get this. It just doesn't end. Stories don't end. My mother-in-law is telling me last night, telling me this morning, over breakfast, made everybody a Easter breakfast this morning. And before we went to church, right after I made my video, and so my mother was telling me she witnessed a lady while she was out working in front of the yard. A lady came up in a golf cart and took a picture exactly. of the trailer parked on the driveway in her, I don't her know. property. I don't know that. I don't so, know if I trust that. You know why? How do you know they weren't taking a selfie? Anyway, so here you go. So this will be very interesting. I'll be, I'll, I mean, I won't be surprised that my wife says, oh, get this. Uh, my mom got a letter in the mail for uh, violations of the HOA. I mean, it, it just doesn't end. Are you and, and if, in fact, if, she's, if she gets this letter, I mean, how do I, I mean, are you kidding me? Rich ass neighborhood. Rich ass neighborhood, right? And, and can you see my trailer? Sincerely, would you know my trailer's down here? Driving by this house right now, you have to go all the way by. You go all the way by, and you have to look hard. You have to look really hard to see the trailer down there. So it's like, yeah, right. It's so ridiculous. But hopefully, hopefully, you know, it's just who knows what the lady is taking a picture of. But I, but one of my YouTuber guys claims that down there in Florida, they've passed the state law that you no longer can uh, discriminate against um, the. Uh, I'm going to need a vacation from you. <laughs> I'm really serious. I'm not joking. How long has the car ride been? I'm pretty sure this is about a 30 or 40 minute car ride. And I don't think there's been 30 seconds of no talking. 
The only time there wasn't talking is when the lady was giving us our food at McDonald's. Wow. I'm getting called out. On the Easter day, but ah, it's all good. All right, let's see here. Get the truck parked. We got pride. All right, that's it. Enough yabba dabba doing. Now I'm going to hook up the truck and trailer, pull that up the hill, get the Harleys. Come on, he's going to get some water. Get the Harleys um, loaded and strapped up. You know, it's interesting that motorcycle trailer there that I have, it's a little easier to actually load and unload. Versus my bigger trailers. So it goes pretty quick, thank goodness. But we only got two bikes versus four, too. So as always, thanks for watching my channel. Subscribe to the channel. And do I do the morning conversation tomorrow? I don't know. If we get an early start, that'll be challenging. So we'll see how it plays out. So uh, as always, God bless. Happy Easter. Stay safe. And stay tuned for more adventures on Ice HTV.